one of the most prominent country music representatives in song, but also an author and a songwriter. Loretta Lynn Nee Webb was born on 14 April 1932 in Butcher Hollow, Kentucky, United States, of Irish, Cherokee, and Scots descent. Loretta has been active in her career for more than 60 years and has received many awards for her contributions to the music industry. So, just how rich is Loretta Lynn as of mid-2017? Loretta's net worth is currently estimated by Celebrity.Money to be over $70 million, virtually all accumulated from her activities in the country music industry, particularly in the United States. Loretta Lynn started performing in local clubs in 1959 and with her brother Jay Lee Webb formed the band called The Trailblazers. Then Loretta won a television talent contest that took place in Washington and her performance was noticed by Norm Burley from Zero Records who offered to work with her. This partnership certainly started the rise of Loretta's net worth. In 1960, she released her first album named Honky Tonk Girl and has subsequently released around 60 albums. Year after year, there was a new album and mostly there were two or three releases per year, which have undoubtedly laid the foundation to Loretta's net worth. Some of her albums were certified as gold. Don't Come Here Drinkin' with Lovin' On Your Mind in 1967, Coal Miner's Daughter in 1970, Lead Me On in 72, and Honky Tonk Angels in 1993 have been the most prominent, and these gold albums especially benefited the overall amount of Lynn's net worth. Many of the songs recorded by Loretta Lynn made the top positions of various charts. She has had 10 number one albums and 16 number one singles on the country charts. In 1972, Loretta Lynn was rewarded by being named the Entertainer of the Year by Country Music Association, the first female singer to receive this honor. In total, sales of her albums have reached 45 million copies internationally. However, because of Loretta Lynn's stand on several controversial issues, including such diverse topics as birth control and the Vietnam War, country music radio stations were often rather reluctant to play her songs, even banning nine of them. But Lynn pushed on to become the first lady of country music. In 1980, her best-selling 1976 autobiography, Coal Miner's Daughter, was made into an Academy Award-winning film of the same title, starring Sissy Spacek and Tommy Lee Jones, which was both popular and critically acclaimed. In her personal life, Loretta married Oliver Lynn when she was just 15 years old and welcomed her first child soon afterwards, followed by five more. In her 2002 autobiography, Still Woman Enough, Loretta wrote that the relationship was often stormy, but they remained together until Oliver died in 1996. She lives in Hurricane Hills, Tennessee. Recent reports say that she is recovering from a stroke suffered in early 2017.